Good morning, everybody. It's time for our sunrise meditation. It's a really beautiful morning. The weather has been so perfect here in Brisbane and um, it's still warm here and the sun's been shining. Can't wish for better weather. So we're down at the park and it's a very beautiful setting. I've got a little stream behind me and we've got lots of bats in the trees. So hopefully they won't be too loud. So we get started. We're going to relax the shoulders down. You can circle them a few times if you like, just to let them relax a bit more. And slide them down away from the ears. As we get tense, we tend to let them creep up towards our ears and that just makes you more tight and uncomfortable. Un um, Soften your face down, your eyes are just gently closed. Relax your scalp, part your teeth slightly, letting the jaw relax. And then if you'd like to, you can roll your head just a few circles, keeping the neck long, but just getting a bit of movement <coughs> into your neck. And then bringing your awareness to your breath. Just getting in tune with your breath. We'll take three really nice deep breaths to begin with. Just breathing in and out through the nostrils. Feel that beautiful energy, that prana entering every cell, expanding the body. We'll do a couple more, it's so relaxing. I'm taking, um, we're going to move into some Veloma breathing now. So we're going to inhale until our lungs are filled to one third. And then we're going to continue to inhale until our lungs are filled to two thirds of their capacity. Then we're going to continue to inhale until we've filled the lungs completely. We'll exhale one third. Keep exhaling till the lungs are two third empty. And then empty the lungs completely. And we're going to pause between each one. So we're going to pause on the inhale first and with no pauses on the exhale. And then we're going to inhale with no pauses, exhale, pausing. And then we'll inhale, pause, exhale, pause. So I'm going to guide you through. You don't have to try to remember it all. Just giving you a little bit of an outline of what to expect. So we're going to now inhale to a third of the breath, the lung capacity, and then pause momentarily. Continue to exhale, nice and slow, filling the lungs to two thirds of their capacity and pause. Continuing to inhale until the lungs are filled completely, pause. And then exhale in one long exhalation with no pauses. Inhale a third of the breath, pause. Continuing, two thirds, pause. Continuing to breathe in until the lungs are filled, pause. Exhaling one long exhalation. So we'll do a few of these breaths just in your own time. So just keep it a natural breath cycle, but you want to deepen the breath and slow it down. Okay, so now we're going to inhale in one long inhalation and then exhale one third of the breath, pause. Keep exhaling till the lungs are two thirds empty, pause. Keep exhaling until the lungs are completely empty and pause momentarily. Inhale in one long inhalation, exhale a third, pause. Two thirds, pause, empty, completely pause and inhale, one long inhalation.
Now inhale on the, um, sorry, pause on the inhales and the exhales. So inhaling to one third, pause, two thirds, pause. Fill the lungs, pause. Exhale a third, pause, two thirds, pause. Empty the lungs, pause. And we'll continue on. We'll do a half a dozen of these full Veloma breaths. We'll do one more. Take a few nice deep yoga breaths, filling the lungs completely and then exhaling completely. Let the belly expand on the inhales, softening on the exhales. So this Veloma breath is really good for calming the mind and relaxing the body and evening out the breath, getting more balanced with your breath. You find if you're, um, you do some deep breathing, um, you'll get less tightness in the shoulders and neck. Some of that chronic tightness comes from shallow breathing. So we need to practice some deep breath every day for the health of our body. It also energizes us. So we get more oxygen into the cells, which creates more energy. We're going to move into mindfulness now. We're sitting next to a beautiful little stream here so you can hear the flow of the water. It makes it nice and easy to visualize. So we're just going to watch the stream flow before our eyes. And this is a very gentle stream. It's moving nice and gently. Not too much agitation. It's a little bit murky, you can't quite see the bottom. This is like our minds. Sometimes our minds are clearer than other times. Sometimes our minds are very murky and foggy. We can all relate to that. Sometimes our minds are moving quickly. Sometimes they're slower. So just like the stream, we can actually watch the stream of thoughts flowing through the mind. So I want you now just to watch these thoughts as they flow through the mind, just like a stream, you'll see them rising to the surface of the mind and then passing away once again. Another one will rise to the surface and pass away. And it's continually flowing, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it actually never stops flowing. It's the stream that never stops. Even at night in the forms of nightmares and dreams or just when it wakes you up thinking about your day's activities or what's to come the next day, it worries. You can't get back to sleep. Our minds are very, very active. So we need to calm that mind down. So this practice is a really good way to understand the workings of the mind, get used to learning to step back from the mind. The mind is filled with so many thoughts dating back from when we can remember, as far back as we can remember. All those thoughts and experiences are there within the mind. Our mind is like a recording device. It's recording everything. And sometimes those memories will come up in the mind. So we're just watching now as these thoughts move through the mind, sometimes quicker, sometimes slower. 
sometimes clearer, sometimes more foggy. Let's spend a few minutes now just observing the mind. Aham Brahmasmi, I am not the body, I am not the mind. I'm also not my thoughts, my anxieties, my worries. I am separate to the mind, different to the mind. I am the eternal spirit soul, the eternal spark of the supreme soul. I am made of spiritual energy, my body and mind are made of material energy and I am situated temporarily within this material body and mind. So I can learn to step back from my mind, detach from my mind and become undisturbed by the different thoughts, feelings and emotions that are there within the mind. So we're going to move into some Japa meditation, which I do as a daily practice. I never miss my Japa. I just can't miss my Japa. It sets me up for the day. My days are different. Um, now that I'm doing japa and I can always return to this nice peaceful state any time in the day you can take your beads with you wherever you go and if you get some time you can just take your beads out do a little bit of japa meditation and then you can be taking a little time out some me time all day every day little tiny bits here and there or big long bits maybe you can take an hour for lunch and do some japa at lunchtime. Maybe you like to get up early in the morning or you like to do them before you go to bed at night to calm the mind down so you can sleep better. There's no hard and fast rules to japa meditation. The main thing is we're adding a mantra. The mantra um, we're going to be saying today is Gopala Govinda Rama Madana Mohana. So we're just going to keep our mind on this mantra, this Man means mind and tra means to draw away. So we're drawing the mind away from the material realm and we're actually placing it in the spiritual realm. The more we immerse our minds in that spiritual realm, the more our minds take on spiritual qualities. So keep bringing your mind back to the mantra if it wanders away. And um, I'm going to say Hari Bol on the top bead, head bead, which is the one with the tassel. And then we go to the next speed. Traditionally use the middle finger and thumb, but no hard and fast rules. And we say the mantra, Gopala, Govinda, Rama, Madana, Mohana. And we continue on. Next speed, Gopala, Govinda, Rama, Madana, Mohana. Move to the next speed. So you can join in whenever you're ready. I'll start again now. Gopala, Govinda, Rama, Madana, Mohana. Gopala, Govinda, Rama, Madana, Mohana. Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana 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 Mohana. Gopala Govinda Rama. Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, 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 Madana Mohana, 
Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana, last one, Gopala Govinda Rama, Madana Mohana. And then you turn the beads around and say Hari Ball and you go back around the other way. So if you started that way, go back around. But as I said, there's no hard and fast rules. You can do Japa lying down, walking, sitting. No hard and fast rules whatsoever. The main thing is that you're applying this mantra and you're taking this mantra into your life somehow. So we're going to uh, finish off with some Kirtan and a little bit of spiritual wisdom now. So kirtan is a very ancient practice and it is the singing of sacred mantras. So I'm going to sing the mantra first and we'll continue on with um, Gopala Govinda Rama. And um, I'll sing it first, I'll sing it through first and then you respond. And then I sing it and you respond. And once again, with all mantra meditation, we want to immerse our minds in the transcendent. So just place your mind on the sound. Let it purify your mind of all that contamination and um, purify your mind so that it takes on those transcendental qualities. Oh, 
Finishing off with some words of wisdom from the ancient Bhagavad Gita. This is our instruction booklet on how to enter the transcendence. It's a really wonderful yoga text to read and contemplate upon. It's a sort of um, information with wisdom that we, we just read a little bit at a time and then we take it within our hearts and contemplate upon it. As the blazing fire turns firewood to ashes, O Arjuna, so does the fire of knowledge burn to ashes all reactions to material activities. So the fire of knowledge is a wonderful thing. We can understand who we are, what our goals in life are, where happiness is to be found, how to relate to others. We can live a very peaceful life when we know these, the answers to these questions. And we can find all these answers in the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Namaste, thank you for coming and I hope to see you again tomorrow.